Welcome back to some Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Anyway, let's play. Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Well, let's find them. I don't know why it's a little bit soft when he's saying that. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage read. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Hmm, that's rich. Huh, <laughs> dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Hmm. That could help. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Are you sure you'll be next door? Because you're still standing here. Read a dandelion, a dandelion's planner. I think we gotta go into our inventory here and look for that piece of paper. And that is it, I think. Did I read it? We did. <laughs> Goodness, dude, don't spit like this. What is up with this game and spitting, dude? God, who proof we put for exercising witches? Our first girl we have to meet is over here. Cutscene. I'll get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. This spule has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. So let's go. Goodness, dude, it's so gruesome. Oh my goodness. Game over, man. Covered in blood. 
all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out, through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring, that horse pheasant, that lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. Twas the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. We're just gonna ignore the fact that you just walked through ropes? <laughs> this woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covir. <laughs> Horvir, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Okay, we're just got, not gonna leave this over here. I'm gonna definitely grab my loot. Oh, we leveled up, made dude. No more last month than I made in a week this time last year. Everybody's skimping. There's a war on. The first one spend coin on new clothes. That's cool talk. War or no war, the rich are always fond of fine. And why are they not giving me anything to sew? Because new fashions have come. Where you're still selling your shines. Give me my loot, dude. I guess we're not getting that. We did level up. Uh, something that I think we should think about is... Ooh, we should definitely level that up for sure. Vitality increase. Uh, something we should definitely look uh, into is some of the perks here on general. I never went really through it though. But I know that there's some juicy stuff here to be quite honest. Uh, like this one, for example, each piece of medium increases the sign and density. Uh, each crease of light increases the critical rate with your fast attacks by 25% and the damage by 5. So this is something we definitely need to take. And uh, we also may have to make sure then our character is wearing light gear. Which is something I never really looked into. We have light gloves. We have light pants. So we just need a chest and boots that's light. So we'll have to go buy them. At some point for sure. But then we should have 20, like, this is how crazy it is. We should have 20% increased damage. Oh! <laughs> Coming from dwarfs, what the heck? I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, so it's that. Wait here. What the heck? 
Any better? So you're... Elihow. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> uh, that makes sense now. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Hmm. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Why do you dress like this, then? I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Can I see your wares, though? Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. That's where... that's what I need, right? So we can talk to him again. Let me just see here, if we go to my inventory. So, chest... and shoes. Yeah. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Chest and shoes, man. So, it is light armor, but it, it doesn't give anything. And then we have quest items here. That's worth, like, one. Do I just buy it, guys? It gives one armor, though, and it's so expensive. It's like, it's not fighting gear, it's, so we can't take it. So long. It's getting cold. If there's ever useless gear, like maybe just good looking gear, but like useless, that's definitely the vendor you want to go to. I'm not going to replace useful gear just for have, just to have 5% increased attack damage. Like armor is also going to make sense. Like it has to. Why are these guys screaming and running? Here's another vendor. Greetings at your service. Show me your wares. So he's only selling weird things, though. Q and sign. Then he's selling junk. So long. Not interested at all. Hello, baby. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after all. I'll wait. I'll meditate an hour. 
a rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd he get bit? It hurt him much. Will he die? Don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day I saw a witch hunter tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. <laughs> That's enough. We're done for the day. Gather your things and go home. Wonder if the rat catcher will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Mum says that if he but catches a cough, he's as good as in the grave. This one's got a fever. Yeah, there's four, maybe five. There's five different kids. Models. Can you talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Another job well done. Dude, we get so much XP. Don't catch a witch about the toe, because you'll regret it. Both is close. My, what a freak. Thank you. Have you got your ass whooped by a freak yet? Because you're about to. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter. Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistake in you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Sure. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way, then. I think this is where the copyright music is getting played. If I'm not mistaken. On a piano. And I'm fine with that. To be quite honest. Like, we're not going to make any money anyway from this YouTube channel. Or at least not from this spe specific video, I would say. Like, if this video reached, uh, like, a thousand views ever, like, I would be so surprised. <laughs> but prove me wrong, please. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. 
My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Let's take the black one. No, no, no. Let's take the white one. The grey mare looks nimble. Besides, knew a man named Kai here once. I'll go with her. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. She bets on the third one that not one me or her brother's riding, which is kind of weird. Riders ready! Get it Go! We did it. Or was that just one lap? Don't spare the horse. There we go. Do a little bit of body blocking. <laughs> Got him. New saddle, dude. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Superior racing saddle. Could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Ah, you these days. Come here, girl. Brains, all of them. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed <laughs> the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says dandelions are good for nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Hmm. You do realize dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. <laughs> Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? Oh, no. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. 
He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks. And good luck to you on your search. Thank you. I don't really know what we're searching for. Hello, baby. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. Let's rather return like this. A few hours later, goodness. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. We are one saddle richer. I'm happy with that. Do you think there was a time in humanity where no one had a driver's license? Everyone was riding a horse. Would you want? Wanna see Rosa Varatra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Your very presence is an affront to the eternal fire. What are you doing? Okay, find a way into the house, I would say. Deliver our children from every evil. So I'm gonna just look a little bit further away. One false move and you will regret it. Good. Whoa! Whoa, girl. I don't think this is a coincidence, so we can go... Oh! So we can go here. <gasps> what the heck? Found a dead body. See men like me, whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you, and I did sugar puss. sugar puss before I report this to Papa. We found a way in, but not into the room yet or into the house yet who are you why are you here answer this instant or i'll summon the guards ah sorry to sneak in miss i'm Geralt, a friend of the bard dandelion <gasps> Geralt of rivia the famed witcher of the ballads what are you doing here vagrant how'd you get in I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? 
Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa for Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Let's go, buddy. You know the way? He looks very happy. I hope you realise what you've got yourself into. I hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Another drift. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll learn it. Follow me. I'm trying to, but you're standing like stalled, so <laughs> just keep moving, buddy. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your worth. Now we look like a peasant. A villager. Oopsie, sorry. Well fought. You're much better than the last one. Why are you full of blood? Uh? Swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Granted. Come oh. on, come closer. Let me beat some woman up, dude. She's actually parrying. Yeah. With two. Damn it. Well, <coughs> if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? <laughs> Gladly. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Artra. The greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Take a dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. 
Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. These girls are crazy. Let's be honest. What does Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. <laughs> Let's get some action, dude. What if we do this? K-Swex. K-Swex. KSM. 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 K-Swex. Meditated for a full day. So I can train her. Work ah! Don't touch me. Cats hate me again. Okay, it's not a big deal. We'll go to Zoltan and then have a conversation about it, I guess. Unfortunately, yeah, I, I just wanted to have a... Not a headache again. Another spa session, you know, to slap some women around, you know what I'm saying? You're right. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. <laughs> You don't train much if you get an ass whooping, let's be honest. Dude, it's actually pretty far away. 55 meters still to go. The city is absolutely huge. We still need to find a vendor to buy light... Shoes and uh, chess piece. Ah, you're back. You met Poppy. You've got to start talking any day now. What the heck? Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about Dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. 
Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A trover, it's like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up dandelion with a pair of tits, and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troupe. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. So this is where the music is gonna be. It wasn't at the race. I knew it was here somewhere. That was my first time ever playing a video game back in the day. That had copyright music to it. And I... I tried to get rid of it like a hundred times, dude, I swear. But, uh, it's impossible. It's possible now, with some video editing, obviously. Uh, at least what YouTube is giving you. Just mute the song or remove the section. And that's another reason why my videos is uh, one hour long. Because if it's longer than two hours, you can't edit the video. Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Oh, 
scent, berries dark, lilacs sweet. To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy. Pretty good stuff. Silence, woman. You've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla. Known also as Calinetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this. is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid! Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. She won't talk to me in secret. Is there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'll be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Whoever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Through here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got well, well, another freak. <laughs> Dude, why do people say it out loud? Like, I don't get it. Do you seek to get rid of the Oh! Ah. 
Let me through, bitches. Oh, level 12 already, dude. We're leveled up so fast. So fast. Uh, let's just see here. Another... Another one over here. Let's have a look. Let me find one quickly. So it's kind of annoying. My mute... Or, sorry, my pause and unpause buttons um, moves this around, but... I'm going to take this one right here. During the day, vitality regenerates by an additional 10 points per second. And when not in combat at night, stamina regenerates an additional 1 point per second during combat. It's just health regen. Um, it's either you take this or you take the eating vitality. So when normally when you eat food, I think the buff lasts about 30 seconds. But if you take, if you take this one, I don't know, we'll have always regen. I might actually take this one afterwards as well, just to have like crazy amounts of healing then. Just wanna see also alchemy. We can craft a few things. Oh, we need to be very careful. Crafting these things. Significantly increase stamina regeneration during a clear moon, uh, moonlit night. We received 800 experience, dude. My goodness. Anybody there? Open up. Goodness, dude. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Sigiruvan cordially invites you to join him. I'm Happen. Hello, Happen. What's happening? The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. So let's go. Siggy Reuven awaits in the next room. If I might be allowed a comment, sir, it's not commonly accepted in this city to stroll about nude. I'd advise you to don some clothing. Hi, boy, hey. Nice bun you have. <laughs> Goodness. He doesn't blush. I most probably will have to edit out. Or cutting the video. We'll see. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? Wait. Aren't you my friend called Zoltan? No? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? 
Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. What, are we playing with the club? First ever Barney with my prick hanging out. Ah! Inside Julia sends his regards. We need one alive. We need one alive. Yeah. Oh. Time. Show me what you got. Oh. I'm, I'm trying to look at this health regen. We need one alive. Got it. They killed him. Good work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse and scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? I want these nuts on his chin. It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, is a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusting when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse sons out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse Sun? Find me first. I need to find Horson. Now looks like I gotta get to him before Cleaver does. Cleaver won't find him easy. Junior's good at hiding. He's got peasant smarts. Look at the time. Good luck in your search, Witcher. I'll call on you tomorrow, Francis. We'll finish our chat. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Now I wanna loot first, dude. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mm -hmm. mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. 
Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Goodness. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Hmm, that sounds promising. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Here we go. Free quest, I guess. So kind as to follow me. 